Hi, Libra. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, I kind of lost my voice. It's starting to come back. Um, so forgive me if I cough a little bit during your reading. Uh, this is for, this is your Ascended Masters spiritual messages reading. Um, this is for Libra Sun, Libra Moon, and Libra Rising. These messages, uh, well, this reading will not be geared toward anything in particular. Um, this reading is meant or intended to display the messages that are needed to be heard and or sent by spirit to you. So however these messages turn out, this is what you are needing to hear for the month of April. So we'll get started with your reading. The first card that you have is find the blessing in your current situation. Your next card is you can do it. And your third card is clear and shield your energy. So for find the blessing, I don't know what it is that you guys are going through or have been going through, but this card talks about every situation offers opportunities to grow and learn. When we curse a situation, we block its energy flow and things fester and grow worse. In contrast, as you recognize the blessings within your current situation, supportive and healing energy flows toward you. This card comes to you because there's an unrecognized blessing within your current situation. It could be something that you've learned or gained. For example, recognize this blessing to accelerate the healing and manifestation that's trying to come to you. So instead of worrying, pray and use positive affirmations. Know that everything's in divine and perfect order. The situation is resolving itself perfectly and you heal through the power of gratitude. So I feel like with this card, you are missing the blessing. Whatever is happening in your life at this time, whether it's love, career, health, I feel that you are focusing on, you may have been focusing too much on the negative of the situation, but you know, yes, there are negatives, but there's also positives. So what benefit does it bring to you if you are always foca focusing on the negative of the situation? It just blocks you. It makes you, it makes you more depressed. It makes you feel worse. And I don't know why, and I'm not saying all of all Librans, I don't, I just feel people in general tend to want to stay in their misery <laughs> instead of looking at the positive. And you know, if that's something that you find you've been doing, I wouldn't beat yourself up about it because it's very difficult in trying times to find the silver lining in situations. <sighs> because it almost feels like it's more of a fantasy and it's that, that hope, people are afraid to hope. And But if we stay focused on the negative, then that's a reality and we don't worry about getting hurt. So because we've already set, our, set ourselves up to be disappointed. But someone said to me a few weeks ago, this uh, group of people that I'm involved with, he said, instead of asking yourself, what's the worst that can happen? Start asking yourself, what's the best that can happen? Right? Because that puts you in a positive frame of mind. And even if things don't work out, uh, you still have this positive energy. It takes practice. It's something that you need to do, but you can do it. Now, not all of you. I'm sure there are plenty of you that have a very positive outlook, but sometimes we go through situations with family, friends, our partners that uh, they do or they say something and it causes us to feel that negative energy or makes us feel bad. And it's really very important because these are just our perceptions, right? Uh, just just because somebody says or does something negative, it doesn't mean that the, the situation has to turn out that way. And it doesn't have to. You can, you know, happiness is a choice we make every day. Not We don't all, wake, babies wake, not even babies actually wake up happy. Most of them do, but we lose that as we get older because the pressures of life tend to uh, pull us down and put us in this, this, this place 
where we feel like we're not getting enough love or we're not getting enough attention and we're not getting, getting, getting. But when our energy is positive and we are strong and we are giving, that's when we receive the positive blessings in return. So the You Can Do It card says you're qualified and ready to take the steps toward your desired outcome. So whatever your desired outcome is in your life personally, as you're listening to this reading, it's different for all of you. You have what it takes to fulfill your dreams and your life's purpose. This card signals that it's time now to make your move. You can do it. Take action without delay or hesitation. No more preparing. No more procrastination. Just do it. You are a valuable and beloved person. So break those big goals into smaller steps and take a, take, take one step today. You, you are, you are, you're listening to this. You know you are on the right path, and you know you're on the right path. And if you don't feel like you are, I'm telling you you are. Let go of perfectionism and know that you, you will do fine. And then your next card, clear and shield your energy. And before I even read about that, I feel like that's clear out that negative energy and shield the positive energy energy you have. Protect that like a gold coin. Do not let anyone come in and break that for you. Do not allow yourself. You know, people, sometimes they say, well, he did this or she said that, you know, and now I'm upset. But the, the truth of the matter is you allow that you allowed yourself to become upset. You're in control of yourself, no one else. So this card says, as a sensitive person, which you are, Libra, you've absorbed some harsh and toxic energy from other people. This card is asking you to stop. Call on Archangel Michael to clear yourself. And Elmoria, Elmora, to clear your and clear the negative energy and they can also clear and elevate the energies in other people your home your office your marriage uh, other interactions you have with others after clearing yourself ask them to shield you from further intrusions like i said this process called shielding needs to be conducted once or twice a day and that's okay you can check in with yourself and say or even if you feel like you're starting to think negatively Pay attention to that. Before you even start changing that, pay attention to your thoughts. Really work in the month of April to pay attention to your thoughts because your thoughts, the things that we think, they, our perceptions create our words and our words create actions. So pay attention to the things that you're thinking first. And some of you can also wear a crystal pendant to act as a buffer in a harsh in harsh energy situations. If you're dealing with people who are extremely harsh, that you can't remove yourself from that situation, you need that shielding. So also in relationships that have felt negative, ask Archangel Michael to cut cords of fearful attachments between you and other people or possessions. Stay clear of harsh or toxic substances, environments, and relationships. Honor your sensitivity. Keep your thoughts as positive as possible. Keep your energy clear and clean. Eliminate clutter or use feng shui to clear the energy in your home or office. You know, one of the... Here, I, I, like, I like to give uh, examples of things. What's the word for that? I can't remember. I like to say, if you... Let's say you're starting a fitness routine you are not going to how much more difficult would it be for you to progress in your fitness route let's say you want to let's say you want to start a diet and you want to you want to cut out all the sugar out of your diet but you work in a candy store you need to be in the in environments that support your positive energy and it is absolutely imperative that you find people who are positive and stick with those people, people who are walking the right path, people who are going in a direction that induces positive outcomes because they are inspirational and they are people that you need to be around, okay, because they, they bleed on you, okay? 
you you can't be in a group of positive people and feel negative. It's almost impossible. So I feel like for those of you who are dealing with, if you're in a situation like work and it's very negative, you may need to take some time to reconsider your position, your job. Because what's most important, of course money's important, and of course we all need to pay our bills and things like that, but the most important is your happiness and you know sure you get to the end of your life and say well my bills were paid but I was miserable I don't feel like that's Libra and I, and I feel like that I don't feel like that's something that you are okay with okay so it's okay for you to switch jobs if you're in a negative environment it's okay for you to move from a place that's negative that does not promote positive feelings and pro positive thoughts even if you're dealing some are, of you are dealing with very negative family members that you really I mean you can't cut your family out of course but you can block them to a level whether they like it or not it's not important because people who are neg people who do support you in your family uh, they will want the best for you and if that you know <laughs> If, you're in, if your family is very, or partner or, or other people are very negative around you and they get upset because you wish to cut ties because of all that negativity, um, that's, that just is a clear indicator that they themselves are misery in misery and misery loves company. So I understand you, you, know, you love your people, <laughs> but you have to be selfish in this sense. And, you know, if you... Uh, here I go again with another example. When a ship is sinking and there's two people in the water and they have no life preserver, the other person is going to use you as a life preserver. And if that means pushing you down in the water to keep them afloat, that's what's going to happen. And you don't want to be in that situation because survival of the fittest, you've got to, whatever, I feel like, a lot of you are going through some negative situations and you have to release yourself from this and you know what you can do that it's okay for you to do that if you have to move if you have to be away from your family for a while and you have to get into this place where you get healing if there's drug addiction or alcoholism or whatever it is you need to get yourself in this healing place so that you can grow and if you are unable to remove yourself from negative situation then you need to work on finding the blessing in that situation or finding coping mechanisms in order to deal with people like that because I feel like you're just going to get pushed under the water further and further even if this is a, a love relationship that's this person is not good for you you come first and you have to do what's right for you your readings the longest one I've done so far. So Libra, I'm going to leave your reading here. Um, if you wish for more clarity or a personal reading, you can please go to my website, www.moonpietarot.com. And um, also, if you need, I have March through August readings, if you're new to my channel or if you haven't heard, in the video section on my, my YouTube channel. And those are love readings. So if you need clarity on love and things like that, see if anything resonates for you. And I will be talking to you soon. Okay, have a great April. Take care. Good luck with everything. Bye.